If you want a great fighting fish that just doesn't give up, that's what we have for you this week. Hi, I'm Henry Washak. Welcome to another episode of Fishing Hotspots. The fish that we're after this week is the AJ, Amberjack. And that fish, like I said, does not give up. Fights hard, you can catch it on live bait, artificials, but one thing for sure, they're a lot of fun. Stay tuned. Fish and Hotspots with host Henry Waschuk is brought to you by Boston Whaler, the unsinkable legend. Live Target, lifelike lures. Mudhole, your one-stop shop for rod building and tackle crafting needs. And Sunset, sun and bug protection. This week we take a trip with famed charter boat captain T.J. Shea to Florida's west coast for another great fishing adventure. There's always a variety of fish that are biting in this fishing hotspot, but this week we concentrate on a strong, punishing fighter that powers deep and defies all odds. You got it. We're after the Greater Amberjack. Stay tuned as we head out in our Boston Whaler Outrage to tangle with one of the toughest reef fish there is. And it's Mr. A.J. to anyone who takes the challenge. With all the great action, fishing tips, and incredible fishing feats and world record catches with the IGFA, add in bent rods and line screaming reels, you've got another jam-packed episode of Fish and Hotspots. Coming up, hardcore AJ action. Oh, come on. Head shakes. Fish and Hotspots is brought to you by Super Shrimps, non-frozen pelleted jump. Super Shrimps brings fish closer. Today we head to the beautiful waters of Florida's west coast. The Gulf of Mexico is an angler's dream with a ton of world record catches. We'll be fishing out of a 370 Boston Whaler Outrage with Captain T.J. Shea. No worries about fishing offshore in this sport fishing machine. This captain knows where the fish are because the spots will be fishing. He also dives there. How cool is that? The offshore waters from Tampa offer a variety of fish from snapper to grouper, copia to kingfish. But today we're looking for the great amberjack, alias the AJ. Come on, boys. There you go. Come Thanks, on. Sir. All right. I don't think he's really a big monster, but he's... Come on. Good head, cheeks. Come on. All right, I got not, color. Yeah, he's not that big, but he's... Let's see, come on, baby. It's crazy, the Jack family, they are all powerful fish. They are. All right, here he goes. He's not a bad size. He's not a bad size at all. Yeah. Oh, he's got a whole host of friends. <laughs> Drop your jig beside it, because there's another one right there. This was. Yeah, another one looks pretty sizable. Oh, yeah. Oh, you oh, got... oh, 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 get back. He oh. let go. <laughs> Come on. All right, let's bring him on in. He's respectable, Henry. Yep, there you go. Beautiful. Buddy. All right, there he's you go. He's respectable. 
Good that fight. Absolutely. On the rock court. Nice. Nice legal Florida amberjack. Well, you know, there's nothing like AJ on the grill, so that might that's a sweet tasting fish. That is, that is. <laughs> this week's fish eye is brought to you by Ray Marine. Go hunting underwater. Raider Amberjack or AJs are without a doubt the meanest Florida fish that swims. They're tough scrappers and Amberjack dish out more than they take. This means you need to prepare for battle with tight rods, reels and tackle. Along with the Goliath grouper, these fish also own a place on any and just about all wrecks you find. These deep water fish have dark stripes extending from their nose to their dorsal fins, known to many as the bandit. Amberjacks have beautiful gold and purple colors. They fight hard and are a prize trophy for any angler. The greater amberjack strikes fast, fights hard, and often dives for the bottom with incredible power. It's also a known fact that AJs are very competitive and will attack an offering at great speeds and follow right to the surface. It's amazing to see them move in their large schools, and they certainly love to hang around shipwrecks and artificial reefs. One thing for sure, if you can work a jig fast and furious up from the bottom, you'll certainly hook up. This species is definitely recognized as a workout fish. In addition to its fighting spirit, the amberjack gets big points for fish on the grill. Mmm, good. Oh, hit it. Oh, come on. All right. Come right. on. Not bad. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh, come on. Head shakes. It's so great when you can get fish on artificials. I mean, we got a lot of bait. <laughs> but just in case, I got color. Smaller guy. Another one with it too. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. Unbelievable. Look at them swimming around. They all want a piece of something. Just a littler guy. Yep. All right. Small guy, but you can see the fight. It's just amazing. These AJs are incredible. Beautiful. The good old bandit. You know, and I was saying, TJ, I was up north. Come on now. And hooked. Oh, you got one? I got one. All right, good job. All right, I'll get this one in the box. Actually, I'll let this one go. I think it's just under. Here you go, buddy. All right. Gone. I'm here, buddy. <laughs> Boy, there's fish for that one too. Woo. There we go. There we go. Woo. Watch your, Come on watch back your leg. That side door is fantastic. Yep. It's a good sized fish. Not bad at all. All right, buddy. Okay, get him in here. There you go. All right. Oh, yeah. Another uh, beauty. I like you holding this time. <laughs> yeah. They're amazing. Like, yep. The good old bandit. Well, I tell you, you hold on to these fish for a bit, you get a little tired. But I tell you, great fighting fish. And I tell you what, great eating too. All they right, are. let's get her in the ice. Coming up. Hank's tip of the week. It's totally irresistible for those fish to hit it. And they'll follow all the way to the boat. And I've had the experiences where there's...
Fish and Hot Spots with host Henry Waschuk is brought to you by Motor Guide, trolling motors engineered for anglers. Amberjack are structure-oriented fish. They tend to like high-profile areas like deep ledges, as well as high artificial reefs, shipwrecks, and big rock piles. Any of these habitats in the range of 50 feet and deeper will hold fish around the state of Florida. You can use store-bought chum like those from Aquatic Nutrition, which works well, or cut chunks of bait and drop them overboard. Landing amberjack is more about getting down and dirty. Crank like crazy, pumping the rod so you get your fish out of any structure. Easier said than done, as they don't seem to tire easily, fighting all the way to the boat. All right, down she goes. What depth are we at here, anyway? It's like right at 1, 110, 112, okay. to the bottom. Oh, right. That's <laughs> like, isn't it crazy? Like, <laughs> all right, here we go. Oh, oh. Back, get back here. Oh, man. You were asking me about color. I mean, I like bright colors, but you know what? All the Rockport rattlers, I mean, I find when you're bottom fishing, it's the action of that jig and that little rattle. Right. I've done well with white, but you know, I, I've got a variety of colors, but. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, buddy. This guy's running drag here. Yeah, you want to work out? Come with TJ. And if you like diving, just think after you fish for a bit, you go down and see what you've been fishing for. That is always fun. Okay. Yeah. Almost to the top. Okay, yeah, there's another one. Yeah, All here right. you go. Here Come you on. Go. There you go. There he goes. There he goes. All right, so I'm Oh, look at this. Two, three of them. Got mine still in the water here. See if the other guys will keep them in there. Another nice one. Nice Go. jack right there. Nice yeah. cooking size. Come here, buddy. Nice to have that door. That door is fantastic. All the right. Rockport Rattler. Yeah. Does it again. Beauty. Nice. Hank's tip of the week is brought to you by Mudhole, your one-stop shop for rod building and tackle crafting needs. You know, I'm really trying to help anglers with a variety of fishing techniques and I've designed three signature kits. One of them is a bottom fishing kit. You know, so if you're fishing AJs, you got long fluorocarbon leaders, a variety of weights and jigs and so on, but you will see in here, no question, the Rockport Rattler. There it is. You know, I've got two different colors in here, different weights, two ounce and six ounce. They also come in a four ounce. That's why I have a variety here and this is the packaging, what it looks like. You know, I didn't go to this company because, you know, I wanted a sponsorship. I wanted to use these because they catch fish. You can, in there, there's a rattle and it's an amazing thing. And I've caught such a variety of fish, not just AJ's, but Everything from cobia to snapper, grouper, everything hits these baits. And what's nice about it, with the variety of different sides of weights, the two, four, and six ounce, depending on the depth that you're fishing, that's, you know, the one that you're gonna use. There's something else I wanna tell you too. They come with different eel tails, like there's one with like more like a twister tail. This one here is more like an eel tail, which the cobia really love. But there's a thing about fishing these. If you're fishing bottom, and you want to really work a bait to get those AJs to hit, I take it completely off. The reason for it, it actually slows the bait down. So when I'm jigging with my spinning rod, and this is also, this one is a standard jigging rod that I have. It's also a signature series, but you know, what you want to do is make sure that when you drop that jig all the way to the bottom and you open up your bail, hits bottom, tighten it up, and you start working that bait, working it up and back and forth, the drop is really nice. And you start working that bait, I tell you, it's totally irresistible for those fish to hit it. And they'll follow all the way to the boat. And I've had the experiences where there's two or three fish at the same time coming up because they all want a piece of the Rockport Rattler. I tell you, whether you get the kit yourself or individually, there's something you gotta have in your tackle box because they certainly do catch fish. Oh, it chased right up. Oh, I couldn't believe it. 
I was reeling down as fast as I could, and he was chasing it up. Come on, take it then if you want it. Still on it? It's crazy. I was reeling up as fast as I could reel up, and that fish chased it all the way up to the top. These fish have got to be so hungry, I'm telling you something. We've had such high winds for so long, it's just nice to be out, really. Come on. All right. There you go. Yep. There we go. Come on, this guy's dogging it. I think this one's fighting really weird. Is he foul hook? I don't know. Sometimes they can, the way they chase the baits. Oh, my head shakes. Come on. <laughs> Whoo. There you go, he's turning a little bit now. Okay, head shakes. Come on. Whew. I think he just realized he was hooked. Yeah. Just, you know, I'm thumbing that too, increasing the drag on this, tightening it down, but come on now. Oh, 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 oh. This one could be a little bigger. <laughs> All that line you just gained back. <laughs> Come on. I'm kind of getting tired just watching you. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see him yet. He really ran off drag there. All right, we have... Okay. Oh, look, look at the fish with them. Look at it, beautiful. Like, that's unbelievable. Yeah, we have a great fishery out here. Yeah, no guff. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Open the door. Woo. Oh, All right. oh, yeah, nice, Jack. Real nice. Oh. Just slide them right in with the leader. Yeah. Woo! Ooh, there's nice a, fish. There's a, you can tell the fight on that one. Nice fish. Okay. He's, a, he's not too happy. All right. All right. Okay. There we go, a little better. Yep. Woo! I'll take that. He's Here. a nice, he's a nice 40, 45. TJ, I hit one 85 pounds in Panama, the same jig. You know, it's, it's hard, you gotta go through all these little guys, and I call these, this is a nice fish, but I don't know if I can get the hook up that way. We'll wait till we put her down. Yeah. No. Coming up, IGFA World Record Highlights. This portion of Fish and Hotspots with host Henry Waschuk is brought to you by the IGFA, the home of world record fish. Henry has tackled a lot of AJs over the years, and each and every one, small or big, have proven themselves as incredible fighters. Pound for pound on light tackle, they'll bury your rod, and it'll be up to you to take what the fish will give you to pick up line. <laughs> I don't know if he's got a big one or a big one got him. Oh, man! <laughs> oh, oh, that is so, 
I'm going to come stand over here and watch that you work. So oh, you got a good one there. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. Oh, man. You know it's a big one when you hear Henry grunting like that. You are kicking my butt. I'm glad you got this one. <laughs> Look at that, it's only 10 pounds. No, I'm just yeah. kidding. <laughs> that one's more than 10 pounds. I, you, I just lost 10 pounds. <laughs> God. Hey, hey Andrew, we gonna go to the gym when we get home? No. I don't know which one of us is more tired. The fish or me. He's winning. You're winning. I believe you finally hooked what you came looking for. Yes, sir. Oh, man. You. Battle Royale. You. Five pound red snapper, you reckon? <laughs> oh, I tell Maybe you. Maybe 10. He's gonna, he's gonna whip me, I keep that up. I tell you, Will, I put this rod in the holder, boys. <laughs> you, hey, you buddy. No, you got no place to run in this 34 foot conquest. I don't know if I can swim home or not. Oh. Here. I got color. Beautiful fish. Henry got him a big one. I got a 24 year old in this boat, and I go, what? Woo! Oh, man. Look at that one. Oh, <laughs> I tell you. Henry. Oh. Look at you, man. That's a great fish on a jig, my friend. Yes, it is. I'm I tell you what. Porch. That's a great yeah. fish on anything, but on a jig, he's a bloody monster. That oh, is a monster, Oh, my dude. God. Dang it. That big old fish ate that Rockport jig. You know it? Elephants do eat peanuts. You they love that, Billy? I yeah. gotta get him on there. I'm, I'm a little too weak. Yeah, I don't blame you. OK. Be honest. Oh, all right, Henry. You're, you, I got a photo, you got a photo, <laughs> and I'm telling you what, I want you to hold it for 10 minutes, that's your penalty. I'm done, <laughs> I'm done already, man. The International Game Fish Association stats indicate that more entries come from the Florida Keys than any other world-class fishing destination. Fishing hotspot number two is Palm Beach, Florida, and then the dry Tortugas in the number three spot, with an honorable mention going to the Carolinas. The IGFA lists a 156-pound amberjack caught off Japan in 2015 as the all-tackle world record. This monster fish caught by Tadashi Yamanaka weighed a whopping 163 pounds, 2 ounces. Yamanaka's amberjack is one of the largest ever caught, although it's likely that larger specimens have been hooked and lost in the rocks of Zenitsu. 100-pounders are few and far between, and 70 to 80-pounders can take an hour or more to put on the boat. Like most world records, there's a lot of good luck and good angling required. Just look at these catches. Now that's impressive. Another monster. And here's a leviathan. I told you, they are one hard fighting fish they never give up. Doesn't matter whether you catch a 10 pounder or 50 pounder, they just fight all the way to the boat. They're an awesome fish. Hey, they're great tasting too. Hopefully you enjoyed the show. I'm Henry Washchuck and we'll see you next time on another great episode of Fishing Hotspots. Join us next week as Henry tackles some great shallow water fish with special guest, PGA's Andy Bean who has a passion for fishing snook. There's a 40 right there. <laughs> snook. Closed captioning has been provided to you by Gasparilla Marina. Fish and Hotspots with host Henry Waschuk was brought to you by Boston Wheeler, Live Target, Mudhole, and Sunset. Oh, oh nice. nice! Look at that! Look at the size of this fish! <laughs>